if I've known five, six years ago when I first launched the Webflow Masterclass that I'll be doing this for the fifth time, I'm not sure I would still do this, but here we are. Fifth time in a row, we have recreated the Webflow Masterclass from scratch. And in this video, I wanna tell you why we did it, what's changed in the web design space, and why do we even think we need a web, new Webflow course and why we should even learn Webflow in 2025. So obviously the, the web design space has changed a lot. You know, there's so many new tools today. There's Framer, there's Figma sites, there's a new AI tool coming out every single week. And that really led me to think, is there still, is it still worth learning Webflow? Should we even redo this course? Are people still going to need to learn how to use Webflow? And I think the answer is yes, and I want to explain why. So obviously a lot of new tools are there, and if you wanna build like a simple website, there's so many tools that you can do it with. Again, Framer is a great tool, Figma Sites is looking interesting and promising, but Webflow did something interesting over the last two, three years. They did what's called in the business world, going up market, meaning they're trying to get not just the everyday business website, but trying to go to the high end of the market where the big clients are, enterprise clients, big corporations. So people who are doing $10,000, $50,000, $100 website, and they have big complex requirements, right? And by doing that, they really separated themselves from all of the other website builders who can do a lot of great stuff for a lot of great clients. But when you come, when it comes to really complex websites, really custom websites, really award-winning websites. When it comes to really customization, really giving designers all of the abilities to create really high-end work, there's no competition at the top, which is how Webflow set themselves apart. So again, if you wanna be a web designer just designing everyday website, you've got a lot of tools to learn. But if you want to be a high-end web designer, creating, working on bigger projects, interesting projects, award-winning websites, or clients for big companies, then the only tool that can help you do that is Webflow at the moment. And yes, there are a lot of interesting AI tools, but when a big corporation needs a website today, website that has 50, 100 pages, and there's big teams working on it, and it needs to sync to their design systems and whatnot, they cannot rely on these new tools. They need something that works and they need something that is already mature and that they can trust and they're going with Webflow. And so what we wanna do in this new course, in the previous version, we've structured the course in terms of beginner, intermediate, advanced. And what we thought about doing in this course is we understand that Actually, there's a lot of different ways to be advanced in Webflow, right? There is trying to be advanced in understanding how to build big websites. You, want, you need to understand the frameworks and you need to understand how to build a website so a big team can work on it, uh, whether that's, again, the framework that you're using for classes, but also building components so that the teams and marketers can reuse this, working with variables, working with design systems. And so that's one way. But on the other hand, some people are just using Webflow very, very creatively to create award-winning websites. So a lot of thinking about animations and interactivity and, in, uh, and integrating Webflow with a lot of the new tools out there like Spline or other animation tool like GSAP. And so what we have made is we decided to structure the, web, the course in, first of all, starting to get you really strong on the fundamentals so that you really understand how to build a good website, how to structure, how to use classes correctly, and all of the different layout styles from flex to grids to really understanding how to build a strong website. And then after you do that, we basically created a module for each one of these special um, advanced we would call it specialties in Webflow. So one of them focusing on big complex websites and one of them focusing on creative development. So let me actually show you how this looks inside of the course. So let me share my screen here. And um, so this is, this is the course uh, when you log in, you can see this. We're, first of all, we're starting the course with web design concept that you have to understand. Now I've been talking I've, it's about 10,000 students who went through this course and I've talked to a lot of them and I really understand that you don't necessarily need to understand all of Webflow features. First, you need to understand 
really web design concepts. And if you don't have a good grasp of this, then trying to, it doesn't matter if you're trying to learn uh, Webflow or you're trying to learn Framer, you're not going to master web design if you don't have this critical understanding of really what's HTML, CSS, what is the box model, how does nesting and cascading work, um, you know, what is flex or auto layout and, and wrappers and how to structure websites correctly. So we really start off with the basics and then we have this build of strong foundations. So we basically have a website here of um, a fashion photographer and we're going to build all of this website, including a lot of very, very cool layout. And it's not just about designing this website from scratch with all of the bento box and all of the nice little animations and interactions that we're adding here. It's really understanding how to structure this website. Why do you need a page wrapper? How do you use components? Why do you need the page main? And how do you structure sections and containers? Really understanding the core principles of web design and then how to use components. And we can use components variants so that we're reusing this component differently in every single page. So this is a really, really cool project. This project also uses the CMS, obviously, and uh, variables. And this is just the beginning. So after this project, we've got the creative development where we have a project for um, a sneaker, a sneaker shoe that has a lot of uh, very cool animation. And all of them, by the way, we're teaching you the professional process of going from Figma, where usually people start their design process and how to move their designs into Webflow, including turning the elements into you know 3D, creating all kinds of nice micro interactions, creating all of these, you know, zooming and cards and overlays and very, very cool things, 3D card flips. So this is all about how to use Webflow. Now that you've understood the basics, how to use this creatively, how to make sure that everything is responsive. Oh, by the way, I want to show you that, you know, we're adding GSAP animation so that, you know, the letters are coming on nicely. We're building here, we're using custom code to create this countdown timer uh, to count down when the shoes are going. And you can see as we're scrolling, we've got this, the shoes are running animation. So we're really getting into how to build with Webflow creatively, right? Using the basics to do some really, really cool things. And then in the third module, we've got like a really big website with tons of content, right? And we're going to use Reloom. We're going to take database and data from Airtable and we're going to sync that. We're going to learn how to bring in data from third party so sources into your Webflow build and then using Reloom to really speed up your process to um, bring everything inside bring all of this data, um, sort through this data. For example, we've got these events here and then we can sort through the events and we can, uh, of course, you know, search and, and do all kinds of really, really cool things and build a component library here so that the team can go ahead and your clients are not going to ruin your design. On the other hand, they have a really simple way that they can design within the design system that you've created for them. They can decide, oh, I want three columns. No, I want two columns and really, really help you think about how to prepare this website for big teams to work on it. Of course, I didn't mention, but it's part of the foundations. We're also covering things that you must know as a web designer today. Um, things like uh, accessibility, how to make sure that your website is actually accessible. Super, super important these days. We have to time to talk about accessibility. Shut up. We have to understand uh, how to make uh, privacy work so our websites are fully you know, legal and compliant across different geographies. And so there's so much more content in here. And actually, we've also added as a bonus content, all of the builds from the previous version. So this is just the most comprehensive way today to get into Webflow and go from beginner to advanced and really understand how to make money with Webflow by being able to either creatively develop award-winning websites or build websites for big teams and being able to deliver the quality and the requirements that big teams demand when they need a Webflow website. Now, I want to finish off with just one example. Um, actually, let me switch back to my screen. I want to 
uh, give a shout out to our friend Ethan, who is an amazing, amazing Webflow developer um, and uh, a Webflow partner. And Web, uh, Ethan is a Webflow Masterclass student, and he recently shared that he hit five hundred thousand dollars in revenue in 2024. I think this is just incredible. And look what he wrote me this week. Uh, when I started my career as a web designer, I had no idea about Webflow until I found Flux Academy on YouTube back in 2018. When the first Webflow Masterclass was launched, I was hesitant of the investment would be worth it. Thankfully, I went through it and completely changed my life. Thanks to the Webflow Masterclass, I went from zero to being super comfortable in Webflow in a matter of weeks. I'm now a full-time freelancer running a Biz, uh, six figure business on my own in 2024, uh, hit my record revenue of $500,000, which seems crazy to me. I'm so happy to see how every new version of Webflow Masterclass keeps getting better and better. I loved how Ron teaches, making the whole experience fun and insightful. Every time I get asked where to learn Webflow, I always refer them to Flux, and it's truly the best place to learn the platform in record time. So shout out to Ethan. Um, yeah, as I've mentioned, super excited to launch this fifth edition. This week we've got special early bird pricing if you wanna get the new version until Friday, I think. So check the link below this video. Um, of course, it comes with our mentoring, office hours, our community, a lot, a lot of amazing stuff. So check out all of the details. I hope to see you in our class 